Hi folks, Scott Kelby here from KelbyOne.com and it's my first from flat to fabulous of the year. And you can see this image is pretty flat and we want to make it fabulous. So that's what we're going to do in this quick tutorial. Uh, I do want to mention I have a whole class of this called from flat to fabulous uh, in Photoshop where uh, we, we can start in Lightroom, do a little tweaking, but a lot of it is done over in Photoshop. And if you want to check that course out, you can go watch it right now. Go to kelby1.com, take the 10 day free trial and you can do tons of these projects. And I give you the images to follow along with in the course so you can do the same exact stuff and it's a great way to learn this stuff but uh, today here we're going to look at this particular image now I've applied a a profile correction from the very beginning because when I look at the photo and I analyze like what's wrong with it it, it looked a little bent look and and the there was darkening in the corners watch when I turn it off look so that step one was to turn on enable profile corrections. These are lens problems, the darkening in the corners and that little bit of bend in the photo is from not having a profile correction applied. So just go to the lens corrections panel over here and turn on simply enable profile corrections. It will look at the camera and it says, oh, you used a 14 millimeter and it was a Canon. Oh, I got a profile for that. There's a huge database of, of, of lenses and stuff that it has. So it automatically chooses it for you. All you got to do is turn it on. Now we'll say this, you can fine tune this a little bit. So it applied, it kind of, you know, fixed the vignetting and it fixed the bending a little bit. But if you don't think it fixed the bending enough, there's a little fine tuning control over here. So I'm going to move it and see if I can flatten it out a little bit more. Hey, I'm, I'm going to go back and forth so you can see the difference. Look there. You can see how it's kind of rounded, bowing out a little bit. So I'm going to put it all the way over to the right to kind of get, get rid of that and make the horizon line a little flatter. So that's step one. Step two is I would go down here to camera calibration. So these are the profiles. Now, but by default, it is applied the Adobe standard profile, which generally looks very flat. So if you want a little more juiced, you know, <laughs> correction before you start tweaking things, um, you can apply a profile. This is a landscape shot, so I would apply camera landscape. And, well, look at that. It already looks that much better. Just by clicking one button here and turning on lens corrections, then going down here and switching on camera landscape. Look at the difference. We hadn't even done anything yet. Look, two clicks were there. So this is definitely worth doing. Hey, when I toggle this on and off, look in this area right here. You can see how it was bowing out and that really fixed it. So now we're in a much better starting place. Let's go up top to the basic panel. And there's a thing that I do for outdoor shots I find is really helpful. Um, it's, it's I take the highlights and drag them all the way to the left. When you have a sky that needs to get some detail back, like in this area, it actually does a fairly good job most of the time. So for outdoor shots, landscape shots and stuff, go to highlights, watch, drag it all the way to the left. Look what it did for that sky. Look at that from here to there. I mean, that made a, a pretty massive difference. And you could stop right there if you want. Um, I think we can go a little further in that. I think we can bring some of the shadows out in here. We can darken the sky a little bit too. I think what I would do with the sky is add a neutral density gradient. So had I had a neutral density gradient with me out on location, I would have put, I was on vacation there, so I was not like on a photo trip or anything. I would put a uh, graduated filter on there, you know, like a nice glass graduated filter that darkens the top part of the sky and then goes to transparent. You can do that here in Lightroom. Click on the graduated filter, move your exposure maybe down a stop or so. And just click and drag from the top to the bottom and look what it does. There we go. And so that top, you can see how the it expands and it gets transparent where the little plus sign is. So I usually bring that down to the horizon line. Now, once it's in place, you could actually, you know, you can juice the color a little bit, make it a little bluer than it was, you know. Or you can choose a completely different color if you click on the little color swatch down there. But I think we look pretty decent there. All right, let's close that. Click on it to close it. And uh, let's add a little more magenta into this just scene, see what it looks like. This may not look good, so I might back it off, but let's see. Oh, that's too much. Just a little tiny bit of it gives it kind of that little bluish purplish kind of look. So that's not bad. Uh, and of course, you can play with this one too. You can go towards blue or towards yellow. I think I kind of liked it where it was. I'm going to go a little more towards blue. There we go. And and this is just, I'm looking at it and you know what looks good to me. There's no official 
uh, white balance committee that decides whether you what you chose you liked or not. All right, let's go to shadows. I want to kind of open this area up in here and maybe on some of these rocks and stuff. So let's open up the shadows and see how far we can go before it looks funky. All right, that doesn't look too bad right there. <clears throat> that actually looks pretty decent. And um, let's make the whole thing a little bit more colorful by adding some vibrance. There we go, a little bit. Looks okay. And I, I want to see more detail in this rock. It just looks like that's, you know, kind of obvious it's your foreground piece and you can't really see what's going on. So let's grab the adjustment brush. Let's double click on the word effects that will zero out any things that I've done previously. And then let's open up the exposure and the shadows a little bit. And I don't know if these numbers are right. I'm just picking random numbers. Then we'll paint over the rock. And then we'll go back and maybe lower that shadows a little bit. There we go. So that's not so bad. And depending on what you want to do with the rest of the rocks, let's make this brush smaller. I'm using the left bracket key on my keyboard to make the brush smaller. Let's bring out some detail here. And any of these rocks have any detail worth worthwhile? Oh, that looks kind of bad over there. Forget those rocks. <laughs> Forget the rocks. All right, and this over here could use a little better right there on the... Yeah, it looks better. All righty. And let's just kind of step back for a moment and look at the picture. And Oh, um, we haven't added any clarity. So clarity is what I would use to bring out detail. So let's do that. Is that. What is this white spot here? Did I do that when I was moving stuff around? Well, we'll fix it later. Let's. Well, first, I guess we could go back and see if I did. Let's bring up the adjustment brush. Let's click on this. I did. See? When you click directly or you put your cursor directly over the pin, it shows you the places you painted. And look, you can see a red dot. Look, I painted that by accident. All right, so that's easy enough. Just hold the Option key on Mac or the Alt key on Windows. Let's make our brush smaller. And then just paint that away. Whoops, didn't mean to paint that. Okay, well, there we go. Okay, now let's just close that back up. Uh, let's add some clarity. Clarity is what we add to bring out detail and texture. So let's do a little bit of that. There we go. And now I think maybe the whole image is just a tad too bright. Let's increase the contrast to give it lots of contrast. There we go. I don't want to go so far that I lose the detail in there. In fact, I'm going to have to bring that out a little bit more. But let's lower the exposure a little so it gets more of a kind of a sunset look to it, even though it's obviously sunset. And now I want to go back, click on this area, and just make it a little brighter. Because by doing those other things, I lost a little of the detail in there. There we go. Now we can maybe paint a little more detail back in this area over here. Oh, that's going over the top. Let's let's undo, undo. And do I need another undo? Yeah, I needed one more undo. So let's just add a little more shadow in there and see what that looks like. That's not bad. I do want to paint some of these other spots, but obviously it was a little too, too much. So I'm going to hit new. And I'm going to lower these down a little bit. So that way, I don't affect what's already there, but I can kind of add on to it. And so I can go in there, maybe add these little extra areas that are kind of dark. And then I'm just going to say, let's lower that even a little bit more. I don't want it to be so obvious. So we're, we're pretty good right now compared to where we started. By the way, let's take a look at where we started. I'm going to hit the backslash key, which gives us a before and after. So there's before. <laughs> Flat. Fabulous. All right. So there's there's quite a difference there. All right. So I would at this point probably jump over to Photoshop just to get rid of some of these this little junk around here. You can do it to some extent using the spot removal tool. Let's get your feather up to a reasonable size maybe. And let's put your uh, brush size down and go ahead and click on some of these. And I think I'm going to have my feather a little too high and get rid of some of this little junk around here. In fact, we may not have to go to Photoshop at all. We can probably do the whole thing right here. And I would get rid of some of that. Anything that draws your eye, any little specks or spots or things that are just not necessary, I, would, I always get rid of those. Like this little spot out here just hanging out there for fun. And let's see if that did an OK patch. Yeah. There's a little thing right here. And I think... We got a couple of spots here in the sky. 
I never know if those are spots in the sky or... See, I think I just removed something that's actually on my monitor. <laughs> that's nice. Might, might be time to clean the old monitor. So if you see me click someplace and nothing happens, that's me not having a very clean monitor. All right. So let's go ahead and hide the side thing. And let's do a split screen. So you can see a before and after. So again, if you get a chance, head over to kelby1.com and take my class on From Flat to Fabulous. Now, I have a ton of Lightroom classes, a ton of Photoshop classes, a ton from me and a ton from some of the other best Photoshop Lightroom gurus and Photoshop experts around the world. So I hope you'll check it out. You can watch those classes for free over there. Um, take the seven-day free trial. Start watching immediately this very second and anyway, hope you found that helpful, guys, and we'll catch you all next time.